Hey guys, it's James, James' boat build. So I want to talk about today, this episode, was something that really isn't discussed too much about a uh, home builder, you know, when you need to register it. Here in Florida, if the vessel is over 16 feet in length, then you'll have to uh, call up the game, uh, the fishing game committee, and um, they come by and inspect the boat, and um, they want to see the receipts. Either that or you're going to have to pay tax to the state of Florida to register it. So if you save up all your receipts and you show it to the uh, the fish and game guy, officer that comes by, uh, you're good to go. They write up a little slip. You go to the um, uh, DMV and they give you a hull number and it's registered and everybody's happy. And But how you get there along the way is many different ways, I would imagine, and in this day of uh, age of having apps for everything, there's an app for that. I use uh, Easy Expense. It uh, can be downloaded on uh, Google Play and from the App Store. I uh, basically put it on my phone. And when I have a receipt, I take a picture of it. And it electronically saves it. I could download it to my computer. I pulled a report. And I wanted to see where I was at. I uh, itemized all my bills. And this figure right here is the tax that I paid. And that's the grand total that I've paid so far on this uh, boat build. So I got five sixteen thirty seven paid in tax. And our total expenses have been $13,938.16. So... What you're probably saying is, wow, that's that's a lot of money that you spent on that boat so far. But, you know, there's a lot of things you guys don't know about that I've done on this project that uh, really you might not even think of it. Uh, but I, I kind of, you know, I plan ahead and I plan accordingly. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, a lot of people might not even consider. Sandpaper, um, the little suit that I, I wore when it was uh, doing... Uh, fiberglass work, a respirator, you know, those sorts of things. That's all part of the boat build. Because when you uh, submit your um, your uh, documentation to your insurer, um, they're going to want to know how much you spent, you know, because they will not pay you for the labor of the boat, or at least GEICO doesn't. And uh, GEICO is one of the biggest uh, insurers of uh, pleasure boats in the United States. Along with Boat US uh, is a part of uh, you know the sea tow organization. If you need a tow to get out, you know, or if you need gas or jump, it's kind of like AAA for boats. It's called Boat US. I'm also a gold member there. But basically, these two services, the membership in the boat club and the insurance company, they um, it's less than like a uh, five hundred bucks for the year uh, to insure the boat, and that gives me peace of mind. But what I do have to do is, you know, if I had something, a catastrophic loss, I'd want it to be recoup all my money. Uh, they won't do it for labor, but um, I damn sure want to get, re, you know, insured for my expenses. So, and uh, the cost of what I've se you've seen so far is, um, is something that um, I need to show you. So, let me show you why... Um, my costs are a little bit high at this point. So, you know, honestly, I I use uh, good products like uh, the West System, but they don't give it away. Total Boat, I'm very happy with the performance of their uh, products too, paint, uh, the barrier coat stuff. And, you know, there's little things that you don't think of that, you know, every little thing adds up. Like I have um, the uh, drain plugs for the boat here. I got the eye hook. How much do you think this thing would cost? Hardened steel, stainless steel. That's a $35 hook all day long. $35. Are you kidding me? But it's part of a boat. It's marine grade. So um, anyway, I got those uh, expenses that you, you might not, you know, think of. Uh, stuff like, you know, um, gloves and rollers and disposable cups, and sandpaper, and you know, just, you know the little clothing you got to use to get the fiberglass off you. Anyway, 
And then there's these other things. When I see stuff on sale, and um, I'll buy it. I got the uh, air horn. I got my hydraulic steering. I got uh, my taco um, uh, bumper guard there for the boat. Now, this is a $500 item. I got off of Amazon Warehouse. They sent it to 300 bucks. They said in like new condition. I opened up the box and, man, good. Uh, yes, I'd like to save $200. Um, so I probably shouldn't, you know, be spilling out all this information. But, um, you know, now I'm going to have competition with you guys uh, to buy stuff over at Amazon Warehouse. And if you don't know it, this is the... Um, you know, it's like the uh, the used return stuff. People, they get it, they don't like it, or they use it, or, you know, they damage it, or who, who even knows what. But it comes back, and then they have different grades. It's like new condition all the way down to good, because maybe it's um, scratched or something. And it might not be a big deal for you. Um, and I, uh, I always look for those bargains. So um, that's where I'm at with my boat build, and... I haven't gone cheap with it. Uh, I've gotten good quality products. But he here's another thing. I've just seen it. You see those uh, belt, uh, the sand belts, a whole box, a case of them? You know, uh, that's part of the boat build. That was in the building expense. Is it part of the boat? No, but I needed that to build the boat along with that tool. That's part of the expense too. You know, is it, did it sink? You know, as far as like, you know, you uh, ha you had a loss and it's part... Well, it was part of the boat and I needed that to build the boat. So, you know, you see how it works? Especially when they don't pay you for labor. I mean, if you have a, a catastrophic loss and you sink a boat or something like that and it's insured, well, what they think the boat is worth is... And they know it's a home-built boat, they're only going to pay you for the, you know, the things that you, you have receipts for. So, it's something to think about, and um, you can see the boat's kind of just been sitting there. I'm waiting for a gallon of, uh, of primer to come in so I could put the last uh, coat on, and, um, you know, I could move on to paint. But this is where we're at, and these are the things that I, I want to let you guys know and uh, get that good knowledge out there. Uh, you know, you got to anticipate things like that. Um, yeah, I got to store them up, and yeah, it might be out of warranty by the time I I um, install it, but I got a good price, and if it's a reputable name, and if you test something before, like when you get it, like I bought a jack plate that I had a phenomenal uh, price, and it was a good thing. I bought it when I did, but I bought it like eight months ago, and uh, I don't need a jack plate now, but I'm going to install a jack plate on this boat. But I, I, the price was so good, and uh, it's uh, from TH Marine. And if you know jack plates, and you know TH Marine, because they're like the uh, the pioneers in that field. Everybody has uh, one of those. So um, anyway, that's what I've been doing, and um, that's where we're at on this boat build. And y'all be good.